Good afternoon, family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing wonderful. I am out <clears throat> in nature, taking a moment, pulling away from some household chores that I was engaging a little earlier. I wanted to take a break because I wanted to come out and say something to you. Specifically, I have a message for the chosen. I have a reminder for you. Ever so often, we as chosen ones need to be reminded. We are such benevolent souls that many times we forget how, just how important, important we are, just how much important we are. We are such empaths. We are such giving beings that many a times we become unfocused on ourselves and focus on everyone else. It's just so natural for us being the kind of beings that we are that I find it necessary to come on um, ever so often and just to remind you to Expect the greatest. Expect the best for you. Expect the best for you. We are so used to watering down our values, are minimizing them and limiting uh, what we believe that we are worth and actually uh, impounding or expounding on the value of others. Um, Viewing other people in a grandiose way and looking at ourselves somewhat different, even less of sometimes. The reason I know is because I've been there <laughs> where I would minimize my worth, yet I would um, expound on others. And I just wanted to come on for a moment and just remind you guys of how valuable you are how worthy you are, how great you are. And to also remind you to continue to walk in that. We're in a time now where we have to also be, definitely be focused on ourselves as well. We need to include ourselves in all of this loving and giving that we're so very used to doing. Uh, we have to, during these times, learn to give of ourselves to ourselves. That is something that many of us are not accustomed to because of the nature that we have. And so I find it very necessary at certain point in times to go on and remind us of what we should be doing. You know, um, there's gonna always be beings out there that may have entities attached that cause them to um, prey on us, prey on our very nature, um, prey on the fact that if they can't get love from anywhere else, they know they can get it from us because we are such loving beings. Even if our personalities on the surface may not uh, appear to exemplify that, we, you know, we still can be, you know, the, the very benevolent beings that we are. You know, it's just according to the perspective of the individuals that are looking at us. <laughs> so, but we're in a time now that where we need to be, or we should be learning how to focus on ourselves. So we have been givers, I'm sure, all of our lives. And so... Uh, a lot of times we've given of ourselves when we really should have did the opposite. Um, so I want to just keep have you keep that in mind, that we need to uh, pick times to focus on self and learn how to love. I had a, I had a friend tell me one time, she said, she, she called me by my Babylon name, and she said, you know, I think you really need to learn how to be selfish some. She said that to me. And I looked at her and I'm like, selfish? She said, yeah, selfish son. 
And she said, and that may not be the right word for it, but that's the word I can only think of for now. Uh, you need to learn how to love on Valerie some. That's what she said. And she called me by my Babylon name. You need to learn how to do that. And at, at the time, I didn't really understand it. I had never, you know, viewed myself as being, um, I was depriving myself. I, I couldn't see it, you know. And maybe because I was so focused on giving to everybody else, maybe that's why I didn't see it. But we are very, very much prone to be um, attacked or um, easily attracted to people that are narcissists. Being an empath, we are we can't be narcissists and empaths. We just can't. <laughs> but we are uh, many times because of our nature, narcissists are also attracted to us because they seek out people like us. And, and they tend to hone in on us and uh, with always with a motive and mostly to destroy what they know we have. So also I want to remind you to be careful with other people. Be careful um, when you're engaging and narcissists can come. It can be family, it can be friends, it can be colleagues, co-workers, comrades. It, you know, we're... It's very common that people like us are, um, many narcissists seek us out. It's very, very, very normal. And so we have to be very careful to keep ourselves um, balanced and focused and intuitive as to who's around us and what's happening in our, in our midst. Because narcissists can be very, very, very destructive and in ciphering our energy and and ciphering our peace and so uh, we need to definitely pay attention to who we allow in our space and um, and protect ourselves and that's not something that many of us are accustomed to doing but we must learn how to do it especially during these times these times are offering us um, a climate of where we um, can get the help to help us to pay attention more. And so that is something that we need to do. We tend to, like I said, um, many, many narcissists seek us out, even in our own family. Sometimes, sometimes our parents, you know, sometimes our own children are narcissistic, even if they don't realize it. Many, many um, people who are narcissists, they're used to getting their way, even if they have to manipulate to get it. And that's exactly what they do. Uh, that's what they, you know, turn into um, when they become narcissistic. And so don't let anyone uh, manipulate you into believing that you're nothing other than who you really are and what you really are. And that's the empathetic being that you are. Narcissists can come in and, and play on your mind if you allow them and have you thinking a whole different thought when in reality um, it's what it is and you know who you are and always be reminded of who you really are. So I wanted to just come on and talk about that a little bit, guys, and, and um, have you to continue to value yourselves. You know, like I said, we're so easily distracted from ourselves because we're always so honed on everybody else and what we can do for others. You know, what we can give and how we can help. Just, you know, all of that. And, you know, I don't, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I think about it sometimes. It's funny how it's amazing, actually, how I ended up marrying an empath. Uh, this time I was just blessed beyond measure and I ended up marrying someone just like myself in that sense and I'll tell you about that it makes it <laughs> we have to try double hard and even help each other to uh, stay balanced and stay protected because both of us are such givers and people who know us pretty well and that are in our space here and there they know that they actually know that. And yes, we have been taken advantage of uh, on quite a few occasions. Uh, 
we used to. We, we're more uh, intuitive in these past few years. We've learned to pay more attention. And even though, you know, some, some have gotten away with it in a sense, they really haven't. <laughs> we uh, have always been blessed. We've always uh, received, um, in other words, you can't, you, you, you can't outgive yourself. I mean, you know, whatever you put out there and you give to others, you always get back, you know, in due time. So I think that's the point I'm trying to make. But um, we, uh, we happen to be, my husband and I happen to be very much the same in, in that area. I may just be a little bit more what's the word, outspoken than he is. He's just a little bit more passive, unless you make him angry now. <laughs> you make him angry, you're going to see something uh, a whole lot more than you might want to see. But uh, he really is. We, we are really a lot alike when it comes to giving. We have very similar hearts. And um, that's one of the most beautiful things about our relationship because People know that about both of us. People who knew us before we knew each other and people that know us as a couple, they know that about us. So I, thought, I just thought it was kind of funny, the fact that, you know, we end up um, as soulmates and um, um, maybe even twin flames, we end up being a lot alike uh, when, um, when it, you know, when it comes to uh, how we are in our nature of giving. And so it's beautiful though, guys. I, I, um, I love that. It's not hard when I want to help someone and when I go to him and, and I, you know, share it with him. It's, it's, it's not difficult for him to say, okay, it's okay. You know, and especially if you want to help in a, in a large way, in a big way, and vice versa. He can come to me, and it's not so hard for me to say okay because we're so much alike in that area. We're opposites in a sense, but when it comes to that, we are very much, very much identical. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. I, I, like, being, I like being able to share that about us and take pride in it. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay on. I, I wanted to just come on. Like I say, my motive for this message is to actually remind the chosen to be careful, to be careful as you move amongst uh, others in this in this place. That you protect yourselves, protect your minds, protect your heart, protect your energy, because no, your energy is actually your currency. So. Protected at all times and at all cost. Very, very, very important. And like I said, again, I just wanted to remind you of that because we're it's we're so easily to forget being the kind of people we are. Um, loving, kind people, and so we often need reminding. I even need to remind myself sometime and my husband, but. Um, but I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm out trying to get a little sun <laughs> out with the enjoying the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. I think it's called nature. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a little bit of that today. And I just wanted to take this time to come on and chat with you guys on that topic and hope that maybe the message can reach someone. It may even be a reminder to someone to guard their energy. And even if it's family members, guys, I have family members without a doubt that are narcissistic. And some of them are very close in relationship to me. I see it. <laughs> and they, they may not even realize it. They may not even know if they do realize it. They may not know that I realize it, but I see it. But I know how to move around them. And so be careful, guys, because they're out here. So I wanted to also tell you to make sure that you get yourself some sun today. Get some sun. Get some me time if you need to. Hug somebody. 
there's always somebody out there that needs a hug. Guys, seek them out and give them a hug. It only takes a moment. And stay in peace. Open your heart chakra and let love be at the core. It's so important, guys. Love is what's going to free us in this system. <laughs> it's going to take love. So make sure that you're doing what you need to do to stay healthy mentally and physically and uh, grounding yourselves and stay in balance using the the uh, the Ma'at um, effect. Stay balanced, guys. It's so important. I'm going to ask you to like the video if you haven't already because when you like the video, others can see it. Share, share, share. Because when you share the video, more people can see it. And please hit the notification bell so that you can continue to get the content. If there is anything that I say that ever resonates with you. And I would appreciate that so much. I would appreciate it a whole lot. And I thank you for that. I'm going to say, signing out. Assalamu alaikum to you. Namaste. Ashe. Ashe. And Ashe. Stay in peace, beautiful souls. Give you the peace sign. Peace unto you. I love you very much. And until next time, I'm going to say bye-bye.